Hello, my beautiful people. Welcome back to another nighttime pouring episode. Um, I've been having a lot of fun with this color palette with the Prussian blue and the antique copper and the gold and the pearl. And we did a ring pour like that. We did a straight pour like that. And I actually want to do a straight pour on this Convexo 16 inch round. So I have actually put this onto Erica Hughes' spinner and I have put some push pins on there to keep it centered. <laughs> <laughs> so I'm actually kind of excited about this. Uh, I have painted it with some Prussian, well, I'm sorry, with some Payne's Gray. Let me show you my colors real quick and we'll get started. So the first one is Golden's Payne's Gray. Everything tonight is mixed with Mix Pour. You can get your own mix by messaging Krista. Email her at Krista8974 at gmail.com. Not super, super thick, leaving a mound, but then sinking into itself pretty quickly. I have watered the mix down quite a bit. <laughs> That's the Payne's Gray, my 24 karat gold from Deco Art Americana Decor Metallics. I have some Golden's Iridescent Pearl Fine, which is a gorgeous, gorgeous marshmallow fluff, dreamy type color. Amazing stuff. And last but not least, we have Folk Art Treasure Gold Series in Antique Copper. So not super, super thick, but not really, really thin and watery either. We are going to do a straight pour in a dirty cup for a 20, I'm sorry, 16 inch round. HOA and I have determined that we need approximately eight to 10 ounces of paint. That's a 16 ounce cup. So I'm assuming that's about here. So if you get a little more than that, I'm okay with that because we're going to spin this out. So we're going to shoot for eight to 10 ounces though. So first thing we're going to do is we're going to put some Payne's Gray in the bottom of the cup. Okay, and now we're gonna go right into that antique copper from way up high, because I want it to sink. I don't want it to sit on the surface. Okay, now a little bit of pearl. Again, from a way up high. And some gold. So this is a dirty cup, straight pour. We're gonna do another layer of the Payne's Gray. And some more antique copper. And we're probably right about at our mark, and I'm just gonna add one more good slug of the pearl, and we're gonna be ready to go. Okay, so our cup is ready. Let's pull this over. I'm gonna pour a little bit of gold in the center to pour into. That way, as our pour hits that and spreads this out, this becomes super thin and allows little gold cells to pop up if they want to, which is a beautiful thing that I like a lot. Okay. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? This has been like three minutes. <laughs> it's like the fastest pour ever. Okay, here we go. Straight pour from up high. and make it pretty. Okay. Ooh, that's this one. That's pretty cool. Okay, I'm gonna put a little bit of our Payne's Gray around the edge of this. Because we don't want our paint rolling over itself. Okay. I guess we put it on the spinner to spin it, huh? <laughs> I think they look pretty. Yeah, that's true. Let's torch this real fast first before we do anything else. So we torch it to pop any cells, any air bubbles, which will then turn into cells. Okay. I guess we should spin it, huh? <laughs> okay, here we go. Knowing the truth. Are you ready, darling? Yes, mother. 
I'm just gonna go super gentle. Maybe a little bit more strength than that. Nicest guy on earth. He's such a sweetheart. Oh, heck yeah. He loved the show pony. Okay. I love this. I love what's happening here. I kind of want to take it down a little bit. Let's open this up. We're going to lose some of what's on that edge. I mean, in this case, it probably wouldn't be so bad because my favorite part is actually right here in the center and these little fingerlings. However, if we spin it out, that would get really stretched out and we would lose all of this really pretty detail around the edge. So we're going to leave it right here and be finished. We're going to torch it one more time and then we'll be done. This is really cool though. I love these colors together. Okay, so that's pretty awesome. I like it. Would you like a slow, sexy spin? I was about to ask you for that. <laughs> it's, like, well, it's like you're reading my mind. One brain. <laughs> sh sharing a brain today. We've been sharing a brain for several years, actually. <laughs> 20 years, over 20 years. It's going to be 21 years on uh, Thanksgiving. Right, after, right before Thanksgiving, you're right. Wow, that's a long time. I think that's really, really cool. Cool. So that's awesome. It's so funny how when they they work and they're right, they're so fast. And when it doesn't work, you could spend an hour. <laughs> Big purple tiger, you remember that one? Woo! Jeez. Yeah, that one was crazy. Okay, so this is awesome. I'm loving this. I'm loving the antique copper mixed with the Payne's Gray and that iridescent pearl and the gold. Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous stuff. So... I will show you this one when it's dry. Thank you so much for being here with us. Um, by the time you guys see this, I think we will actually be in Texas getting ready for the Fluid Art Experience. So I wish you could all be with us. We totally understand for those of you who can't be with us this time and hopefully next time we will be planning to do more of these Fluid Art Experiences and you can join us at those because I think this is going to be a really, really amazing event to be able to take a class from Karen Dershon, from Kathleen Osmore, from Sarah Mack, from the Massey Boys, and from myself, and even HOA is going to do some teaching. <laughs> you should see the look he's giving me right now. 
but I don't think that there's any place on earth that you could get instruction, personalized private instruction from those five or six people in one place. So it's going to be amazing. Anyways, thank you so much for being here. We'll be right back. You have more paint left. I do. <laughs> Maybe you should pour on something else because we're only at like 10 minutes. <laughs> oh, should I do another one, you mean? Yeah, that's what I mean. Just get a twofer. All right, I got a 12 by 16 sitting over there. I'll just move this over. Now, should you say something before or just after you pick it up? Um, hang on. Okay, well. HOAs just told me that we're only at like 10 minutes. So we're going to pour something else. I have some more canvases down there. I'm going to scrape the table off and put this in my cup with my drips. I have a cup of drips right over here. I'll just come over to the edge underneath this lovely little lip and scrape that right into the cup. Okay. Let's wipe down the table quick. Okay, so let's see. I have a 12 by 16. Let's try that. Should we do that? It says it's this. Now this one's already taped, so we'll do this one. Okay. All right. Put pins in it. <gasps> I want to paint. <laughs> Stopping me. And I only have two pins, so no, I'm not gonna put pins in it. How about those handles? You're killing me, Smalls. <laughs> <laughs> oh, I'm just trying to help you. Okay. So, I guess this is a good time to demonstrate the hands-off handles that we have. Unscrew them so that it's flush. And then, maybe we have tape on this one, that's the problem. Okay, so that slides in there. This all the way up. And then we just tighten these. So this is from the Hands Off Handle Company. And their website is handsoffhandles.co. And these are kind of fun. They're really awesome. You have somebody who doesn't necessarily like getting paint all over their hands. This might be an excellent option. And price-wise, I mean, great price. Okay. So that just slides underneath the bar. It was so funny, too, because first I had heard that I looked at them and I went, oh, well, that won't fit on a level one or a level two. And then so many of you chimed in and said, yes, actually, they do work on level ones and level twos. So, okay. Okay, so let's see, let's um, move that cup over, we'll get a fresh cup. All right, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to do a nice thick layer of Payne's Gray. And we're going to mix it up a little bit, we're going to put some pearl in first. Then some of the antique copper from up high. Okay, a splash of gold. And another bit of the Payne's Gray. Okay. You're a cat. Maybe one of ours. This ends inside. So 
Could be the farm cat from next door. Could be. There's a cat out there, I'm telling you. And just a little bit more gold. Okay. I mean, he's sleeping with the girls and Zen is inside. Probably also sleeping with the girls. Okay. Alright. So, let's take a little bit of our gold. Plus, I paint too. I'm going to spread this out just a touch. Some corners and edges. <laughs> Call these cats. Zen might see it on the video, honey, and get jealous. You can exploit the neighbor's cat too. <laughs> cat exploitation. Okay, here we go. Are you ready, husband of awesomeness? Yes, my love. Yes, you pray. We're gonna stay a little more gonna like, well, I don't know, we might go up and down. We might do a fantasy pour, which is a straight pour and a ring pour combined. Okay, here we go. When you get close, you're gonna go up high. You're gonna twist a little. That's really pretty. Somebody was asking me how you do the finger links. That's how. Back and forth. <laughs> like a ribbon. Okay. Nice, this one. That's pretty. Okay, let's tilt this out a little bit. Let's see, what do we have that we can use as a full extender? Let's use some of this. Let's go around it. Let me go off that side. Come back to the center. Let me go down this way now. I'm here now. <laughs> <laughs> Part. 
I don't think I like that part. I'll let this go down somewhere. Oh, it's like hot rod ghost planes. Right, everything is a hot rod. Only the good things. The best things are hot rod. Is there no glare this way? Right. Okay. Um, I'm digging on it mostly. I don't like that thing. <laughs> it's like a brain to me. <laughs> That's pretty smart though. What? Brains are pretty smart. I think you're, you're tired, baby, and <laughs> you're a little punchy. It's pretty late. Yeah. I'm sorry, I think I need to take some of that part off. I really don't like it. Do what you like. I was gonna. It's your painting. Your name's on the channel. <laughs> <laughs> Paint how you like. Do what you like. <laughs> in the pour, y'all. This over here on the side is kind of interesting. Let's take this this way a little bit. cool actually and all of that is going to be super crazy amazing when it starts to dry because it's got the pearl in there and the gold and the antique copper it's very pretty now i really want to take it back that way open it up more what would happen if you dusted it with the pee at this point you know i was wondering about that See the little dark area below right, that's closest mm -hmm. to you? Yeah, what if you sprinkle a little piggy action in there? Okay. You need to take up a little bit more of the bottom center part. Because I like what's happening on both sides. And I keep trying to stretch it out. But because there's still a lot of paint in the middle, it keeps squishing. Okay, I'm going to go this way and open this up a little bit more. Okay. That's cool. So what was it you want me to just sprinkle some piggy on there? Or maybe put some on a stick and then blow it. Blow it. Which color, <coughs> which color piggy would you like me to use? Something light. Ooh, you know which one has a, a violety shift, which was this Comet. Which I just got that glisten. That's glisten too. That's velvet. Where's Comet? it out so that I could find it. It's rose quartz that's glistening. Oh, where is it? It's ball gown. There it is. Got it. Okay. So please, when you are using the piggies, please do use a mask and don't hold them near your face. Alright, so we're just going to take a stick 
and I'm literally just going to dip the stick in there and blow on there. Oops. And maybe we'll tap and see if that does anything. Ooh. Comet trails. <laughs> That's pretty nifty. It works better tapping it off. That's so pretty in there. Looks like you're getting it everywhere except the one place that I wanted it. Which is there? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> there. Happy? Or you still want, you want it right on that edge, don't you? Yep. Magic dust. Okay, let's stop messing with that because you really should be wearing a mask when you play with these. And I wasn't going to call you out on that, but I was... I don't have any masks down here. I would have. Okay, so this is pretty neat. Um, so I'll show you both of these on there. And try. That one's looking really amazing. Let me pull this over here and pull that back over so you guys can see. Oh, this is really cool now. It's continued to sell up a little bit more. That's awesome. Okay, I'm really happy with both of these. That's really neat. I'll show you them when they're dry. Thanks for being here with us tonight, guys. We'll see you real soon.